GSS, let's start with the baseball video. Because we already had a great one. The Manny Ramirez one was, was fire. It's called The Biggest Boomer in Baseball. 400,000 views. Madison plays two professional sports, is arguably the greatest postseason pitcher in history, and has dated a girl named Madison Bumgarner. He's also been called grumpy. That's crazy. Wait, he dated a girl with the same first and last name? Is this real or a joke? I don't actually want to see. <laughs> Madison Bumgarner once dated a girl named Madison Bumgarner. No relation, I'm sure of it. <laughs> yeah, you better be sure. Bumgarner has thrown at multiple batters because they stared at their home runs too long. He started fights because of bat flips and once got into a fight because he, quote, just wanted to get mad for a second. After a bad call, Bumgarner once tried to intimidate the umpire by staring him down for 17 seconds. Well, Joe West <laughs> is not going back behind the, the catcher. But what is he doing? He wants to take this is not <laughs> Bumgarner was born in a small. <laughs> they did a little. Hey, that was a Sigma nod, dude. They both actually. They said 17 seconds. All right, I respect. And these <laughs> for 17 seconds, Joe West got his revenge after Bumgarner took strike three, but thought it was only strike two. After confusing everyone by staying in the box, Joe West told him it was strike three, took his mask off, and started laughing at him. He then put his mask back on and continued to laugh at him. The Giants <laughs> called him up in 2010, and despite being only 20, he became one of their best pitchers. He pitched Wait, in four plays. Why does everyone hate Joe West? I don't know shit about baseball. Oh, he's just terrible calls. Oh, okay. Tries to be center of attention. Oh, you don't want that from a referee. <laughs> Damn, we have a surprising number of baseball heads in the chat. You never noticed the best refs? Yeah, if you know a ref's name, that's a bad sign. One of the worst to ever touch the game. Interesting. Joe West f***ed my wife. <laughs> that's a more personal reason. I'm not sure he f***ed everybody in chat's wives. They seem to actually think his calls are bad. Through an he got mine, me too. In the World Series, <laughs> helping the Growing up, he spent time raising cattle, started chewing tobacco in fifth grade, and wasn't allowed to throw a curveball until he was old enough to drive. After only a week, he got homesick, called the Giants, and told them he wanted to quit baseball. However, Bumgarner seemed to adjust pretty quickly. He was not only one of... After one week as a major league pitcher, you decided to quit baseball out of homesickness? One year during spring training, him and his wife were using the horses to rope cattle when they found a rattlesnake. Bumgarner got an ax, chopped the snake in half, and found three baby rabbits inside the rattlesnake. They noticed one of the rabbits was still somehow barely alive. They took the rabbit back to their apartment, nursed it back to health. There's no f***ing shot. There is no f***ing shot. This sounds like a Kim Jong-un story. <laughs> this sounds like a f***ing uh, uh, Aesop's fable. You chopped it in half with an ax, found a living f***ing rabbit inside and nurse it to health? That's ridiculous. That, that, that did not happen. In 2015, he got Alex Guerrero to pop out. Guerrero was upset with himself, spun around and flipped his bat. That was enough for Bumgarner to get pissed and scream at him. While he was running back to the dugout, <laughs> told him, quote, you're not that good, buddy. That same year, Carlos Gomez. <laughs> so petty. That's so petty wait so why was he popping off? i don't i don't understand explain it to me like i don't watch any baseball at all if he got him out why was he popping off he was mad at himself <laughs> did, did he misunderstand as well why would you say you're not that good to someone that just you never stood a chance to don't get pissy oh okay i get it 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 i get it, I get it, I get it. he is saying you're not good enough to even be mad at yourself you had no chance <laughs> that's that's a thousand times pettier than I thought it was, and I thought it was petty. That's crazy. <laughs> he caused the benches to clear another time that year after Delino DeShield popped up through his bath because he was mad at himself, causing Bumgarner to scream at him, telling him to get out of the box, and then scream at him some more. The bench is clear, but nobody fought because the Rangers just seemed confused at what Bumgarner was mad about in the- you, What is he mad about? I, I, this all made more sense to me when I thought his opponents were making good plays on him and popping off, and he was like, thinking they were being bad sports. But they are failing, getting mad at themselves, and he's getting extra pissed. This is so wild to me. 
I haven't heard of this happening, like in any sport. And in game one of the World Series, he gave up only one run in seven innings. Then, after only two <laughs> days of rest, he came into game seven with a one run lead and proceeded to throw four shutout innings and win his third World Series at only 24 years old, which resulted in the most awkward award ceremony in sports history. At Chevrolet, we have, um, we have also been proud of the latest and greatest uh, lineup, which is the all-new 2015. Um. <laughs> this guy gets one. This is some Chevy executive who has to come up there and do an ad. Flop sweating, and he's got a fucking no card, and he can't just say the one. <laughs> he's like crying with the emotion. We have two full paragraphs about how great the latest Chevy Silverado is. It combines class winning <laughs> and leading, uh, you know, technology and stuff. This is such a good ad read. It combines class winning and leading um technology and stuff. <laughs> this is selling Chevys. If I'm watching, I'm on the fucking phone. I'm searching for the nearest Chevy dealership immediately because this type of confidence is what I need. In 2019, Bumgarner wanted to prepare for his upcoming start but didn't want to bother any of his teammates on their off day. Later in the day, his manager asked him who he played catch with. He told him he threw to his wife. Madison Bumgarner throws 93 miles per hour. And according to him, she occasionally helps him train in the offseason by catching his bullpens, where he throws fastballs, changeups, and breaking balls at full speed. <laughs> That's dangerous, right? He's throwing 90 mile pages at his wife. Is she Giga Chad, or is this just like really dangerous and painful? Isn't this era of baseball filled with every baseball player being a huge Fortnite addict? I remember reading an article that like every young baseball player was massively into Fortnite and like the coaches were getting super pissed that like in the clubhouse they were playing Fortnite all the f time and like it, it was a real problem bro I'm gonna I'm I'm really find it right now here's right here literally fucking look at this Fortnite is tearing baseball teams apart which is really embarrassing <laughs> ex Philly's first baseman Carlos Santana smashed a clubhouse flat screen because his teammates wouldn't stop playing Fortnite <laughs> Oh, Esquire. Oh, 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 now you think it's fake news. Two seconds ago, you were saying this never happened. You're the biggest baseball fan, you never heard of it. And now that I found an article, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's like 10 more of these too. There was a big deal in like 2018, 2019. Here's another one. <laughs> Boston Red Sox pitcher David Price was benched last year due to a mild case of carpal tunnel syndrome, syndrome from playing Fortnite. <laughs> Shortly after Bumgarner signed with Arizona, an article in The Athletic exposed his biggest secret. Turns out, Madison Bumgarner was competing at rodeos in team roping events, a sport where two men on the back of horses are That's graded crazy. on how well they can lasso a steer. In December 2019, he won $26,000 in an event, prompting a Facebook post that blew his cover. <laughs> Turns out, Bumgarner had been competing in these events for years and had even competed two days before a spring like, training start no in 2019, it? all under the fake name Mason Saunders to avoid being discovered. Bumgarner has said he may pursue team roping full time after he retires, and there is a possibility he still continues to compete under a different disguise. <laughs> but since this article was released, there's no evidence of Bumgarner continuing his rodeo career. He has pitched two uncharacteristically shaky seasons in Arizona, but off to a solid start in 2022. And at 32 years old, there's plenty of time for Bumgarner to win more games blow more snot rockets, and scream at even more batters. Wow. That was a fire video. That channel does not disappoint. Baseball is a crazy sport. I, I will never watch it, ever, <laughs> to be clear, <laughs> as long as I live. But it is interesting to hear about, for sure.